that um, reflect the personality or the occupation of the person. Yeah, anything else? Her shadow of the light. Very nice, so the light's coming from here. And this is oil, very light works in, in watercolors, but a um, particular way of cooking and talking and music and clothing and um, it's a community that's um, what do you think? What kind of attitude does she have? Confident. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Confident. What gives, what gives you a sense of confidence? Posture. Posture. strictly on timing here. So the dark edge here, the dark edge up here, all of this has to be painted at once, very quickly. Where something like this is, is much, done much more slowly. Okay, so and I changed the background to red because I wanted it to be this sort of fiery, hot color here. So I had to paint this very quickly right into his back here. You can see that he's clearly bigger and he's in the foreground. So I positioned him with his head turned, so you don't quite see all of his head here, so he's going out of, out of the picture. So let me ask you, the students here, which painting do you want to talk about that you find interesting? Yeah. The, the tattoo artist? Yes. Right. Well, this nice. is, this was actually the very first painting I did in this series. This, this, this series took seven years to do. I did it almost entirely in secret. And I was in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I was driving around and I saw some tattoo parlors. And the tattoo parlors are some weird places. <laughs> so to make it even weirder, you see how I put the light down here and made the spotlight come up so it would shoot this shadow coming up this way here. Here again, this is the white of the paper. Okay, that's where I left it white, the highlight there there and in fact those little highlights in his glasses right there that's the that's the hot the white the paper that i paint around they were all such different experiences for me because i went to all 50 states and most of the time i traveled by myself so i met every one of these veterans i met and every one of them i asked them what is the best thing about having served in the military what was the hardest thing so they all had different stories. They were, they're so diverse. And what I wanted to do was show the diversity of this country. So I hope I got everybody represented in, in these paintings here. Um, but as far as the favorite, you know, there's, that would be really hard to pick. 
was involved in my social work. I mean, I had to go to a lumber yard, I had to go to coal mines, I had to go to NASA, I had to take an astronaut over there. This is the frame maker to make it look like it's aluminum. And you can see this sort of this silver cast here. And then to make it slightly curved. Do you see that? How it's slightly concave here? So you feel like you're inside looking out. This is Winston Scott, who did actually did three spacewalks. And I met with him at NASA and asked him, you know, what was it like? Obviously, I wasn't there to paint this. I had to paint from imagination. So when I was there at NASA, I got some photos of the different uh, space suits. And here again, you can see where that's just the white of the paper there, where I painted around it. And I'm sure if you got up close, you can see some of the pencil line here. But this I had to do very fast. And, and I laid the paper down. So that something like this, to paint that and that, I had to paint that at the same time. So that, that would have a soft edge there. So I laid it down. I painted this with that, with this with that, went around him, went around that, and all in one shot. So I have to do it very quickly with a brush about this big here. And then coming back in later, could paint this in much more slowly. Winston Scott came to see the painting at the opening two weeks ago. And I, I met him at the door and walked him around and he saw it for the first time. And I said, so Winston, what's, you know, what was that like doing you know, the spacewalk. And he said, Mary, when you're out there, anything goes wrong, there's no one that can come back and help you. So you have to know what you're doing. And I said, so weren't you ever scared? And he said, scared? He said, we had a job to do. So we were too well trained to be scared. And that's something that I heard over and over again from the military. They were just so well trained, they were never scared. Two singers there. Um, you'll recognize this one right here. But that's how I start. These are called thumbnail sketches. So I'm deciding am I going to show all the figure? Am I going to show one figure? Is it dark background, light background? So that's where it starts. And sometimes I don't do just one, sometimes I might do a bunch of things. Of course.